The 2017 Aberdeen report said that 50% of manufacturers felt that audit scrutiny and frequency had increased over the last two years. And it went on to say that 60% of those same manufacturers thought it was going to continue to increase over the next three to five years. We're in that time frame right now, guys. And in 2018, when the Wayfair decision took place, it proved their assumptions to be true. So what does that mean for organizations like yours when you're trying to be compliant right here domestically, but you're getting audited all the time and you didn't see it coming? And then on top of that, your organization is growing into other countries that have compliance requirements that are different than what we have right here in the United States. So. Uh, areas like Europe and Latin America that have compliance requirements around electronic invoicing. Are you prepared for that? Uh, so what I'm going to be doing to help you guys out over the next few weeks, I'm going to invite some of my friends who are subject matter experts in those areas, and they're going to be joining me on Tax Chats. But in order to make those conversations viable, I need your help. So if you could, please drop your questions below. We want to know what's been keeping you up at night. What are some of your questions when it comes to e-archiving and e-invoicing, and how can we help to answer those questions for you so that you feel better prepared and confident when you're faced with those requirements? My name's Erica, and I have an episode called Tax Chats that we do weekly. Please join me, and make sure you drop your questions below. Thanks, guys.